Man, oh man, here we go again. We are about to be on some adventurous second channel action. Need a little spare battery, put that in your pocket. Save it for later, you may need it. Uh, nothing too adventurous. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna head out towards Bethel, Oklahoma, which is pretty close to me, right down the road. And uh, on the second channel, couple somethings ago, a couple weeks ago, we uh, I actually showed putting a glass, or we got a new windshield in the travel all. This sweet mama right here. And I kind of talked to y'all about how I've had some wobbly glass and some uh, seals that just happen to leak plumb everywhere. And the glass guy is getting me quotes on uh, pulling the glass and putting new seals in. And he's actually more than affordable, which is awesome because I'm not a glass guy. As you can tell, if your glass starts shaking, guys, don't fix all that stuff. Get you a door shim and just wedge it in there. Or like that side over there, if you got a piece of plexiglass as your vent window, don't replace it, even though you got a perfectly good one in your parts truck over in your junkyard. Glass is meant to shake, rattle, and roll. Actually, I don't think it's supposed to do any of that. I think it's just supposed to roll up and down and not leak like all of my stuff does. We built the uh, Datsun and even it is worn out. We built the truck, that glass is worn out. And I just want to get some of that little crap fixed, guys. It's kind of been on the bucket list of mine that eventually we will get this addressed. And after talking with Gary at the auto glass place, uh, I believe he's our guy to accomplish that for us. The only kicker with the travel all is the side glass. Well, she's plum split like a banana sundae. Banana split, I mean. <laughs> she split like a piece of ice cream, bottom line. Whatever the hell that means. Now, around the time I had the conversation with Gary about that, and I said, yeah, no one makes that glass to my knowledge. Uh, you gotta find one. Well, someone texted me and sent a picture of a travel all said hey i'm local are you interested in this thing and i went okay you know what when stars align like that i know that's something that's meant to be guys we just said we needed this piece of glass you can't find them within 24 hours hey are you interested in this uh you dang right i am so this parts travel all it's rough r-u-f-f uh but it's got a rare piece of glass in it that we need i believe the glass is good we'll see it in person a little better and also, I've always wanted a parts travel all just for the rear quarters for a reason. And maybe I'll say that, nah, we won't say the reason, leave y'all guessing. I just always wanted an extra set of uh, travel all quarters. And this one's missing the front clip, so it's just the shell. I mean, it literally has the parts we need and want for a travel all bar, uh, body within 15 minutes of driving distance which i'm not a traveler so that makes me happy and we're talking about like a few hundred bucks and we get our parts we need so guys this is a no-brainer we're gonna uh, pack up which we ain't we don't need much i done hooked onto the trailer first thing this morning we got a tripod we got an extra battery we got pudding we just need to get probably some cash for these folks and we're gonna head that way it's probably only the second time i've uh towed with this thing I've only put less than 2,000 miles on this rig. I'm trying to take good care of this truck. Nicest vehicle I've ever owned. But this is not the only thing we're doing. After we get the travel all, we will be heading down to St. Louis Salvage because Sammy may have found a Datsun. But we'll go we'll go down that road in a little bit. We're on Bethel Road, and guess what? Bethel Road takes you straight to Bethel. <laughs> Guys, I maybe should have brought more than what I brought. I probably should have checked the battery on the trailer even though I ain't really using it since I last charged it so it should be plenty good unless something happened uh, but the pictures they sent me you could tell this thing had been in it and what is it it's the ground uh, you could tell it's been in a rough spot I want to say maybe the front don't even have like wheels and tires on it uh, even with the winch I don't think this is going to be an easy load when you ain't got good rolling wheels and tires and crap starts dragging this way that way um, I hope she goes smooth, but if I was a betting man, she's gonna be a little ornery. Maybe we should have brought a jack and a couple boards or something, but I didn't think about that till now. So how about we just wing it and dang it. We'll get her loaded or we won't. I ain't been back up in this part in uh, a while. Uh, last time I was, it was dark. 
but you get on some of these back roads up in here and i'd found at one point a couple like 64 impalas and other stuff and uh, of course they're all sitting kind of tucked behind this or that never went and knocked on any doors but there's some there's some hidey holes out around these spots and we're just meeting at this little corner store here dakotas in bethel and anyone who's a proper pot county and knows that the ice cream machine they used to have here was a uh, second to none in all of pot county that's that's a big old county to be giving this the ice cream machine winner <laughs> all right follow the service bed and they will lead you to a travel all i like it i know where we're at we're out here in cousin kissing country that's where we are practically kissing cousins just playing guys you gotta go way further north you gotta get just north of shawnee oklahoma and then that's that's when you get to cousin kissing <laughs> Well, she may be a nice rig, but we're going to put her through her paces today, guys, because apparently we are getting back in it. Uh, I swapped this thing to four low because we are headed uh, We're headed into it. He damn right. He's got a chainsaw. Good man. Hell, y'all see the service be uh, bed on that thing? I should have known he had a chainsaw. He's got a chainsaw and he'll whip an ass. I guarantee both. Make sure we get through this gate here. Yep. All right. Our first off-road adventure. I'm going on an adventure! Good thing this sucker's low geared. Four tens in the truck. Uh, of course, in four low, you can rev this thing to the moon and go two miles per hour, come to find out. Good thing we didn't have the uh, travel off for this one. I don't know the, the travel off would have pulled this one off, even though I've been down in it before in the travel off. I've been in some crap about like this. Well, I'm starting to see some vehicles there. All right, right here's where I need to swing and then back into, I do believe. Good thing we got that real short trailer. All right, guys, I'm gonna back up and do some driving. <laughs> yeah, All right, guys, they're gonna pull their truck up where I can back up past it. And then I'll try to restab this way and maybe we'll end up getting to it. I'm trying to cut around it here. And then we'll see. And we'll head back up this way into the woods new plan of attack because i ain't got enough whipping room i'm gonna get the hill out the way and then we're gonna yank the front end that away and try to straighten up that rig luckily he said he has a chain so let's give it a little little yanking a little tugging a little loving yeah i like doing redneck stuff back in the woods makes me happy guys i used the eighth of a tank and i drove six miles this thing will do everything besides pass a gas station Keep, keep going a little more that's good that should be actually give it another another little more we might as well get it as straight as it'll go perfect now we got a pretty good shot there so he'll pull his out the way i'll pull mine right in the way Ooh, about broken ankle Let's see what we get into here trying to winch it on hopefully the battery's good here's a little strip all right go get my hood though right yep uh i probably should have brought something to chalk these wheels i ain't got nothing back here i had two blocks i don't know if this parking brake works we will set it you got any blocks by chance I was gonna say you wanna make some blocks real quick. Right. I, I'm guessing that ain't gonna roll the greatest. So if I could block my trailer, it'd probably help. I had okay. two wood blocks and I, I forgot them. There's this a old bell housing from something. It was over by that gravel. I mean that right there's gonna be a pretty damn good chalk. Oh, it's starting to move. We're good with one. That bell housing worked. We got cables, I think. There's a sheet of metal over there. Let's see if we're gonna be able to. Oh yeah, here she comes. The battery sounding pretty dead. <laughs> oh, look, little crunching. Yeah, she'll hold on. Come on, baby. It's actually pulling up there pretty straight, which is surprising. It's still coming. 
All right, now we're gonna have to look at a little. The rear ends on these are a lot narrower than the front ends are. I don't know how much, but we're gonna have to move a ramp some, it's looking like. If I start pulling the front end, that's the thing that kind of kicks that. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna hook to here. He said he don't mind dragging the uh, ass in this way some. I see a leaf spring right there, so we can drop the rope right around it. This quarter's pretty good shape. Got a whoop de doo there. A little rust on the back, a little up front. That's all fixable. Okay. See, there's a leaf spring right in here. Yeah, I think if you straighten out your wheel and just go straight back, we'll see, make sure it gets out past that quarter. And then I'll get back in case that little strap decides it don't want to be there anymore. <laughs> there you go. That worked out good. How many three quarter ton Chevys does it take to load a travel all? Just a couple. All right, I think we're gonna make the ramps. I'm gonna pull on the right side to shift that that away some. Then if our buddy I'm still favoring that side, hopefully after we get it up on the tail end, I'll have him tug it that way just a hair again. And it'll work or it won't. Another adjustment. Yeah, I don't know, it's moving. I think it's caught on one of the ramps. Wait. I was gonna say, strap's about to go. All right, now we have to get it that way because we're about to be having some uh, some issues here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we can hook on and get it right on your hook there. I think we were kind of caught up here. More redneck ingenuity going down. A little stronger rope. There you go. Guys, we lost the ramp, but if we, uh, I got some tension on that, I think we can pick up and maybe get it to pop. She's already too tight against the trailer. It's still stuck on the trailer. It won't go anywhere. A second ago, I, I seen the wheel pop up some. I thought it was gonna go. Uh, the, pr the problem's gonna be that other side being hooked on. We start moving too much, we may lose that side too. That's one way to do it, right there. They said they just live right up, so they're gonna just go grab a jack. He said he usually has one on his truck. He just cleaned it out. The issue here is we lost this one off the ramp. We're still favoring this side, but the winch is pulling it that away. Uh, the pictures I'd got of this thing were not the greatest pictures, and uh, the quarters are definitely rougher than I thought they were. So that kind of sucks, because the quarters is one of the things I'm really interested in but I do think they're salvageable to an extent. Anyhow, this one, <laughs> yeah, maybe not, you know. Just got moss coming out of the rust down there. This thing is rough, rough. Uh, however, that one piece of glass, super hard to find. Uh, I don't think it's exactly worth what we're paying for the rig, but at a minimum, if we get that glass out of it and then we get a hundred bucks back out of this thing to like DNH or something, because uh, they buy absolutely everything then we're probably getting the one piece of glass we need so i still think it's worth it i just don't know those are the quarters that we need for the project i had in mind i kind of talked to slick about that and see what slick thinks about it uh i think he's going to tell me to try to find a nicer set but don't worry because that project's more of a dream than anything that's going to happen soon so we got plenty of time to worry about that we're still getting our piece of glass. Looks like the rest of travel is pretty well in here. Got some drums. Look at those monsters right there. Piece of drive shaft, old exhaust. Looks like we have some of our trim. How's the song for Folgers go? Start the morning with Folgers in your cup. Hey! Not a single door is gonna close. Boy, howdy. Now these are a torsion bar front end. Uh, you can see it right there on the upper A arm actually. And then you can see that torsion bar that runs down into that mount off our frame down there. And that's actually your front spring. And then the lower arms are kind of I shaped, kind of capital I. But then they got a little strut rod that bolts from the bottom up to that, that triangulates that to, you know, give her a little stabilization in that junky arm situation. I'm not a fan of torsion bars, guys. I know you can just crank them down to lower or crank them up to lift stuff and all that. I would rather just be able to mess with coil springs myself. 
uh some travelogs did have coil springs some had torsion bars i don't know they were they were kind of all over the place but boy if like they never came back i don't even know if i have cell phone service you know what i mean i just might be left out here to die ah oh, sometimes i like to just sit here listen to the crows enjoy a nice refreshing liter of water it cuts to like a desert scene where i'm laying here on the trailer shriveled up and the birds are up there flying <laughs> Oh, here they come. Here they are. You're about to give that cedar tree a blast. Watch this. Just planks my truck. <laughs> yeah. About that drive shaft, if we just kind of pick up on that tire, I yeah, think yeah. it'll get underneath the wheel. We just gotta get that rubber picked up. Okay. Yeah. I was kicking and pulled something in my shoulder somehow. Oh, it is now? Oh, yeah. I don't even know how that works. Kick my leg and strain something in my shoulder. I ain't as good as I once was. Let's see it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. There it goes. I think it's going to fight us every step of the way. Oh, there it went. Yeah. All right. That's going to get us up there. Uh -huh. I wonder if, uh, winching it forward, if that's going to, when it goes to drop, if it's going to land on them, if you know what I mean. Damn right. <laughs> That's the old sitting place right there. Oh yeah, the whole thing's pulling that way now. All right, we are up out of the boonies there. Uh-oh wife's calling all right so that thing whoop, plopped right on the trailer after that we just sucked her up there and i strapped it down the doors will not close but it's sitting so low the doors can't even open because they hit the fenders so you know a little little extra safety measure there uh, they actually want the hood of this thing they're wanting to put it as a little awning thing over the entrance of their shop door uh we didn't have proper tools for getting it off so i just told them hey you know, at one point, I'll pull it off and I'll meet y'all in town or something and give it to you. No problem. So I did put one little flimsy strap on that, hoping it'll keep it from flying up. And we're taking more of the back roads home uh, as we run 45. <laughs> uh, but we, we were down in it, guys. And I'm not going to lie. I had fun doing that without having a jack and stuff and having to get creative. But I say that as they went and got a jack. I'm just saying, I had fun being in a redneck situation. I've been in the shops, working on shops or building wagons, and I ain't got to do some redneck stuff in a minute. So I had a good time this morning. Looks like the crew's here waiting on me. Yeah, our little uh, debacle may have put us a little behind. I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing quite yet. I'm just gonna pull her up in the junkyard. And this is the junkiest thing in the junkyard at this point, promise you that. Uh, there's old Matt and Slick. I'm gonna have to tell y'all the backstory on old Matt here. Pretty cool story if I do say so myself. Ain't that the roughest thing I've bought yet? Yeah. <laughs> it's a piece of crap. <laughs> How are you, buddy? That quarter ain't even worth messing with, is it? <laughs> hey, what is that, pull plaster? It ain't body filler. <laughs> what, what about Aww. this? Look, look at the little moss Aww, butt hanging out. Oh yeah, she's good. Doors won't close, don't worry about that. Just a little fixer-upper. What's up, oh, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> hey. They didn't even sand it. <laughs> Put this ammo in. Yeah. Don't scratch my paint. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Matt's deaf, so if y'all hear me talking to him, you're like, hey, you're an idiot. He can read lips really good, so if you, uh, you can have conversations with them. I think we're to the point that I plan on pulling the piece of glass and taking it to D&H Classics. That's going to cost me more, to pay slick to fix the quarters or to find a decent set. Who knows, you know? I don't think we'll be able to find a decent set. They're all going to be kind of like Yeah, this. most quarters are kind of trash. Or at least one, like I'd buy a really nice travel and just cut the quarters off and be like, all right, the hell with the rest. You know what I mean? I don't know. This one, this one's fixable. That's the worst part of this one. That other one's, hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. Because really, I would like a good hind end. I'd like to take the whole booty off of it. It's rough, buddy. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's on the trailer. It's here. And we'll get there when we get there. At a minimum, I needed that glass. So, no regrets. Matt found a sticker. I didn't even see that. We got the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. This baby was meant to fly. She is an airplane. You see her wings flapping? Yeah. I think when you came around the corner, all the doors were open. And I was like, uh-oh. Uh, yeah, they won't close. Guys, look at the nest in this thing. I didn't even look in here. I mean, this thing just needs some gasoline and a match and let it go. But she is the deluxe model. All right, so she's high end. Hey, we finally got them bedsides out of there uh guys we're going to look at a datsun i was told complete underneath the hood so the curiosity just overwhelms me we gotta grab a battery y'all know the e-hauls is quick release so slick's gonna grab it and i'm gonna grab two tools my knife and a crescent wrench and that's all we're allowed to have crescent kniffy Oh yeah, good blade even. All right, put that hat backwards because uh, I'm gonna grab a little gas and a bottle to take and then we're heading to the taco boy, I do believe. Uh, none of us have ate. Only the finest of gasoline for us, the Fiji. Hmm. Ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas in it. I go to the gas station just to get a gallon in here. We can do it. Here's the gas we do have. Drop that return right there. One pump, baby. Here she comes. We're gonna run out of gas before we get that bottle full. Uh-oh, now she's a bubbling. She's bubbling. What in the bubbles is going on here? She really may be running out of gas. Good deal. Now it just looks like a, I ain't drink water in a week and I, I pissed in the bottle. Dang, Slick's even gonna pull her around for me, it sounds like. Oh, by the way, y'all like that new hot damn sign? Hot damn, that looks good. Yeah, y'all didn't think that pepper was done, did ya? Well, let's go, sweetheart. What do you wanna eat, taco boy? Oh, Rupert, take me to the taco boy. <laughs> Turn up that good food, guys. I can't thank y'all enough. His board over there is plum covered in a tab people left for me, so we're just uh, eating it up here. Can't can't thank you guys enough for all the support here. And this food is delicious, hitting the spot. I ain't been here in like two weeks, so it thought I broke up with him, but I didn't. Bang, got the chrome gas cap in the body kit. Got the old hot rod twins with me. <laughs> I don't know about twins. Matt's built like a super duty. Slick's just an S10. <laughs> We're gonna just carry this battery. If I was smart, we would have brought the tow roll over. We could have drove through here and shoved some stuff around. Anything his loader couldn't handle, we could have moved for him with the tow roller since we were here. But I forgot, I wasn't thinking. When you make it to the flatbeds, hang a Leroy. Two tone with the with the dip down the door. We got the off-road tires on the golf cart on the flatbed. <laughs> Dang right, what a looker. Land Rover getting bougie. Looks like they've been uh, doing a lot of crushing around here. Sure are a lot of scraps on the ground. We're going to make it about another 30 seconds and I'm going to be trading this battery to a uh, big in here. We're lost, Slick. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be back that away. 
Dang, got the red bead locks. What in the, the big top? What'd you find? Oh, baby. Dang right. T top unit right here. So she got a 280XZ. Damn trailer wheel on it. <laughs> Woo! What in the electric turboscopy we got going on here? She's got the fuel injection. <laughs> Little baby turbo, he said. <laughs> oh, I see the dancing straight ahead. Well, here she be. She got disc brakes. You can tell by the grill that it's on the newer models. Of course, this ain't a good sign. You see all the flies over this thing? Something's dead in it. Oh, she's pretty well all there looking. Not, not shabby at all. Yellow plug wires with the red mm -hmm. cap. Got to match the paint, baby. Yellow plug wires. Look at the dirt dauber on this dipstick. Oh Holy cow. Oh, I think it's that. oh, yeah. She's got the, the chrome tack in the dash. Just a four speed. How disappointing. I was really hoping this thing was going to be a five speed. Because uh, if so, we were going to rob it. Not necessarily today, but she's just a four. Look at this sucker, though. What a clod. That might be the best clod we found in a while. Oil looks good. Oh, that's nice looking brake fluid besides the film floating on top. <laughs> that's how this thing got dented. Someone tried to knock that off there and cave the fender in. <laughs> Scared Matt. Hey, look at that. That's nice. Come on. She's green. All right, let's put that old dipstick back in right there. This is another segment of our classic passerby. We didn't think that far ahead, did we? We did not. Oh, it's got the same thing you got going on with yours. Oh, yeah, I know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert. I know how to do that. No big deal. Can't even, can't even pull off the breather. Something's definitely dead around here. Oh, man. Man, I forgot the crescent. <laughs> We're down to one tool. <laughs> Good luck. You dang right. Check that out right there. Don't let them fool you, Slick. That red is definitely the ground. Oh. Go, <laughs> going, going right to the block. <laughs> and look at this. Oh, what's it say on there? Royal something royal pain in the ass. So that kind of connector is. I need something to hit it with. Perfect. Just a good old transmission mount. Matt's going. He said he's looking for the nut. He won't put the lid on it. He's trying to drive it. <laughs> he, he's ready to drive, huh? <laughs> Is that why he checked the brakes? No, I, I checked the brakes. Oh, now. okay. I was going to say, y'all do know we ain't got no wheels and tires on it. Yeah, we'll find wheels and tires. It's Chevy pattern. It looks like it's laying on them. Let's get some wire here. We need some jumper wires. We're just going to start by seeing if we can even get it to crank. There's not a key in there, uh, but have no fear. I've been jump starting mine, and we'll figure it out. There's just a couple little jumper wires. Some good quality aluminum wiring in there. That's what everyone needs in their life. I ain't too worried about Matt getting lost. He's a big boy. I do believe he'll handle himself. He'd be up there fighting a bear. All right, got us a couple jumpers. What's he doing? We'll laugh at the ground. Oh. He got his wing that he was worried about. He's going to run the breather on it. All right. So this here is for our... And Hey, look. They already got a jumper in there. I'm trying to remember what does what. Let's see here. What the problem is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what we could do? We could just run a jumper from that battery straight down to there crank. just crank right here if we find a long enough wire probably be easier anyhow i have to thank this nissan for its sacrifice it's one way to do her She's <laughs> ready to go it's only about 90 percent corroded not not terrible <laughs> dang someone did, did the did yeah. the twist trick down on it oh my, my wire hit the uh, uh the lead in the thing <laughs> 
Sound like he's going to try. That's a good sound. That's what we want to hear. We don't want it to do it on accident like that, but we want to hear it. Here she goes cranking. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me do some jumper wires where we can see if we're getting spark first. Yeah, that'll, that'll rig it or it won't. All right. I tied up in the bin. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted my crescent and I forgot it. Look at Matt go. He, he is the wrench. You damn right he's the wrench. <laughs> old power thumb there. Here's that little... Look at that. <laughs> more, more smog crap, buddy. Is that one of them Daihachi carburetors that you love so much? Yeah, Daihachi. As in die. Throw it in the trash. Yeah, that's good. Check for spark. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to check for spark first. And this little spot here. Nice little polish through the dust. See if I can't get zapped. They win. Go ahead. Now, I didn't see no spark. I so good. Hey, this thing's got a Mallory. A Mallory? Woo! Dang! <laughs> that uh, got the fancy unit. We about to put that in mine. We need this hood too. Look how nice. Look how is. cherry that paint is underneath there. What the hell? Nothing's good on it. And then the distributor and it's under good. hood paint. Mint condition. Uh, so this thing is dual point. Y'all see that? We got one there and one there. Mallory was not expecting to see that in here. All right, crank on it. Let's see. This one's opening. This one ain't even moving one bit. It ain't got no spring tension on it. Yeah, that thing's plumb worn out right there. And it looks like it's damn burn up. Oh, that's good too. This wire is missing the uh, coating on it. And it's stuck right down there on that, which is gonna possibly be grounded as well. I don't know if the spring's grounded or not, but that circuit's supposed to be isolated. As far as this side, Give it the Morsky flick. I'm not too worried about all that. Uh, we don't even know that we're actually getting power to our coil because of our whole jumper wire setup in there. Ooh. And that's nice and tight, as you can <laughs> see. <laughs> we just discovered. Hey, Ranch, tighten mm. that. Do it again, Slick. There we go. She, she's sparking now. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, dumbass. You think we're going to get anything out of there with that? <laughs> and I wasn't I wasn't calling them dumbass guys. Yeah. I was calling me dumbass. Hey, we were all doing it. We're like, we ain't getting nothing out them. Cap laying right next to it. High performance rig. Go ahead. I ain't getting no spark. We got no spark, but uh, if you, uh, I'll show you. Yeah. See that? Getting a little spark. So I think we're good with all this. We just got to get a good ground to our coil and then a good connection going between these suckers because it's just not, yeah, that one ain't going to do it. So we're going to have to rely on getting this side good to go. Try it again, Slick. It don't look like it's hardly opening. May not be breaking connection. But if that was the case, when we opened it, bump it. Tell me when to stop. Just bump, bump. All right, and bump. Right there should be pretty open. And she is. <clears throat> Just get that out the way. Problem is, we should be getting sparkage like that even, and we're not. All right, there's obviously not the best connection. Well, what's going on here? How come I'm getting it over here? One wire going down to old floppy Joe here. I just cut it out of there. This one here goes onto our spade. Couldn't get spark a second ago. Wiggled on this. That's nice and tight, as you can see as well. Now, going to ground, we're getting spark. Uh, however, if we go back on this, which even like that's a terrible connection right there. All right, let's try it again, Slate. There we go. There we go. She had a little spark. A little spark's better than no spark. Make sure it's in neutral. Right. There we go. We're good. We're sparking. All right. Yeah, give her that special blend of Fiji. Mm. Don't forget that bottle's the same size as this motor, one and a half liters. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. She, she got idle. <laughs> Let me uh, 
Where's the throttle? Yeah, where? Oh yeah, it's a little throttle cable up to the back side. Go ahead, Slick. <laughs> she had a little tick tick to her somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but she ran for no more than what we did. I'm gonna keep her going. Blood at her. Boom! <laughs> you need to drive that. I don't want to have it then. Mm hmm. What did the wind? See if the brakes work. Oh shit. <laughs> she got <laughs> two pumps and we had some brakes. I ain't saying it's got the best brakes, but something's got some pressure on it. We put a fuel pump on this rig. We could be taking her around the salvage. Put it in the bag. Put the put in the gear. That's it. That was the bin. Why pick it up? Just put it in gear. Put it in gear. Is that side turning? I, I shoved it in the first. <laughs> <laughs> take it for a little drive dude that thing sounds good she sounds real good what a rig slap a fuel pump on it and call it a day for crying out loud she's got a little tick i'm sure someone adjusted the valves ever so often you know what i mean i mean hey guys how can you be mad at that do we need it I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we needed it. I also didn't think we we're gonna be sitting here looking at it in first gear, just idling like a little, like a little sewing machine. Still got her in gear. <laughs> Grab second. I just slapped it to second. <laughs> it's hauling butt. <laughs> Grab third. <laughs> Go for fourth. <laughs> Sammy, I know you watch the videos, and if you've got a chin hair on you, you'll uh, you'll put some wheels and tires on this thing and just bleed the brakes and put a electric fuel pump on it and drive it. Talk about a yard truck. This baby ain't getting stuck. It's a Datsun for crying out loud. Boy, it's a damn shame it's got the rust and stuff it does because I've wanted a yellow one for a while. Look at this. Why is that? so faded and then in there's yellow is that a repaint or is that just how it sun baked over the years look right there bright yellow to that dull this breaks that front's whammy grill's decent in it it does have a decent grill the fender is garbage that bedside's garbage uh man it's a shame it's rough because it sounds like a pretty decent little runner actually <laughs> you want it have a dime <laughs> Now that truck did come with some, uh, it had the factory hubcaps with it. I don't know about Steelys. I'm going to ask Sammy about them. Uh, but when I got here, he said, hey, I already pulled your caps and I got them up here. So he knew I was after them. Uh, what can I say? But y'all know I couldn't pass up the opportunity to see a little Datsun truck. Uh, yeah, rougher, rougher than what I wanted. I mean, he's talking about Green National. They know. Anyhow, uh, Matt has never been here he's from texas i'm gonna tell you how i know matt later i ain't forgot that part uh but we're gonna let matt do a little looking around unless we find something real good we need to show you uh y'all know i've been out here a few times and y'all seen most of the stuff that uh he has out here but he's always got stuff coming and going so if we find something new i'll definitely show you guys hell with stan we need to get a license plate that says matt and we need to get matt in that rig no <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Slug bug. <laughs> Slug bug. Hey. Slug bug back, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he just beats the shit out of me. <laughs> There's a whole stack of them. Is that a 302 car? Ready to do some burnouts or what? I don't know the Fords well enough to know what actually came in them Crown Vicks. I'm sure you could get them with the 302 though. The pimp daddy caddy in the back. They call this here the Field of Dreams. What in the... Oh, I thought that was a stack for a second. It was a whole lot cooler when I thought it was a stack. Is that? Don't tell me they ran. Did they? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is that, that is his exhaust. 
Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. They ran the exhaust into that tubing. And then here's the stack of Saurus Rex. That is the most Pot County thing <laughs> I've seen. Boy, what kind of YouTuber am I? Forgot my two spare batteries. And there's that crescent wrench we had uh, forgot. Got my battery though. We made it back here. Get some cold water too. Oh dang. Yeah. Oh. Hot County legend. Well, I appreciate you watching, yeah. man. Yeah, nice this, one, this one's bent. Yep, yeah, she's but a little whoopie dude. Yeah. Well, y'all know we like to collect them dats and caps, so can't go wrong there. All right, baby. We are back. And uh, Matt and Slick cut out of here. Actually, I went and helped Slick move some stuff. Uh, he needed a hand. And we got her dead. And guys, uh, that is it. We went and got our crappiest, turdiest, rattiest, whatever you want to call that travel all parts rig. Uh, that we've ever drug home such a turd need that glass though <laughs> we got a travel all had some fun out in the woods uh not loading a travel all properly and having to yeah anyhow then we got that little datsun running and i actually had a lot of fun doing that nice and simple uh you gotta watch them points guys uh those both both of them had mentioned coil or whatever and uh, it's just very rare coils actually bad and I know some of y'all gonna say bull crap But I think out of every wheel it run I've ever done We could only think of one where I had an issue with a coil is out of that Toyota and it's actually got a different ignition system than obviously like a points system with just a regular old coil and uh, yeah, it's just usually It's that spark and if you ain't get spark out of it more than likely those that system stay staying grounded somehow and you got to break that ground so like in that one i still don't know what we did that actually fixed it at the one point i just messed with that one side and got it off where are them damn crows at so loud can't even talk to you guys without getting called out of the building ka -ka, ka -ka. so i i shoved around on that one side and it started sparking then it quit and then we wiggled on some wires and stuff but yeah either way we got her and she was humming along uh, now, I told you I'd tell you about Matt, and I'll do the quick version of this. And uh, a few years ago, I don't remember exactly how many, may have been five years. At some point, uh, me and my wife, we used to go to the Lone Star Roundup every other year. Or not just me and my wife, prior to my wife uh, being involved, me and my buddies, the Yahoos, we would go down there at least every other year to the Roundup. And the one year we were at the Austin Speed Shop after party or open house or whatever it is they do. And they have like music going and you can see all the hot rods and people just kind of hang out. And we were there and we ran into Matt and we didn't know him and uh, him being deaf. Well, Top Stitch Taylor is a bad A when it comes, I like how I watch my language there. I was bad this video, I do apologize. Uh, Taylor knows his stuff when it comes to sign language. He's like fluent in it. He he knows everything. And it's just very, uh, it, it's so natural to him. He's just really, really good at it. And uh, so they were, they somehow bumped into each other or whatever. And Taylor was talking with him. And of course he can interpret for us where we were all kind of, you know, talking and he, you know, where are you from? What do you do? Just the basics when you're kind of getting to know people. And we said, oh, we were from Oklahoma. And he's like, well, I got family in Oklahoma. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. And he's like, where y'all from? And we tell him Tecumseh, Oklahoma. And he's like, that's where my family's from. Well, guys, we got one stoplight. So it's like, you can guarantee we know your family. So I'm like, I'm like, who are they? And he says, they own the donut shop. Well, around here, the donut shop's a big deal. You know what I mean? So it's like, there ain't no way Terry. Yeah, yeah, Terry. That you know, uh, that's my uncle. That's what it was. Terry's his uncle. And uh, anyhow, just you know, crazy small world. We're in Austin, Texas, and met the met him. And uh, we just stayed in touch after that on Instagram and everything. And uh, he has family here, obviously. So when he comes up now, he comes out and visits and hangs out. And uh, man, I love Matt. He's uh. He's very bubbly. I love that he uh, he's outspoken and he just don't, 
man, he don't let nothing hold him back. I've never seen that guy uh, in like a like a bad mood. He's just fun to be around. Uh, he's got a good sense of humor on him. And anyhow, it was cool that we got to see him because uh, he don't come up this way a lot. So if he does come up here, I usually try my hardest to make sure I can at least spend you know, half a day with them or so where we can catch up and everything else. Uh, so that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. I don't know lengthwise how this video turned out or how exciting of a video it was, but the travel all part was necessary. I'm glad we found us a piece of glass. Uh, I've actually been looking for one for years and years. I'm just willing to, just not willing to travel across the country for one and or trying to deal with the shipping or you know anything like that so it's cool we finally found one local and hey we got another set of dats and caps can't be mad at that guys uh puddingsfabshop.com for that good quality merchandise we had restocked the vehicle t-shirts i do believe there's some left uh datsun international truck travel law yeehaw torola basically the gang all of them should be in stock uh, we sh we kind of ran low on some stickers. I just ordered a bunch a couple days ago So those should be in stock soon if anyone's been waiting on one And yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for the support there um, Man that has literally been a game changer for us and yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, Thank you to you guys coming back and watching all these videos including here on the second channel uh, Everything is just I, I cannot thank you guys enough and I know I say it and people probably think it's you know me beating a dead horse but it truly means the world to me uh so that is it and i will see you guys next time yeah speaking of merch we got merch stuff to go take care of uh, still plenty of work always going on when this camera ain't rolling uh that's what we're gonna go do now as a family we got some we got some huffing of boxes to do around and uh yeah i will see you guys next time but do not forget sitting on your ass won't finish your project Hot damn, there's so much BSRE, we had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on!